Hi everyone and thank you so much for watching. I am in the process of moving and while I'm doing that I can't entirely film because I have to have a new filming area set up and all that jazz so in the meantime I'm going to look for interesting challenges to do and the challenge I decided for today is can I do a full face of glam in the time it takes me to get from this station to my destination. So I'm at the Khao train station right now, I'm about to get on the train and then when we start leaving I'm going to start see what I can do. Pretty empty elsewhere. Oh no, there's someone getting on. Oh, someone getting on. So this is how I had all my makeup with me. I stuffed it all in this one bag so that I had it by my side. And then on my other side, on my bag, right here, I'm gonna balance my phone and hope for the best. And as you can see, it's pretty empty. So I have my bag, I'm ready to start digging in it and the first thing I pull out is my new Smashbox priming and setting water. So just spray that on my face and then I give it a moment to settle in before I apply anything over it. I squirted some foundation into this little test tube container to make it easier to travel with. So I dotted that onto my face as I usually would and then once I'm happy with the amount I have on my face, I'm gonna dig around for my foundation brush and then use that to buff it out because I forgot to wet my beauty blender, so I had to work with a brush for today. Now I also realized about at this point that I forgot a mirror, so I used the one inside my palette. I'm so happy it had a mirror because otherwise I would not have known how many lines I had on my face from the brush. So I just used my hand to smooth them out and to make it look a little bit more normal. Next for concealer, I reached for some stick concealer. I don't know why I don't usually use them, but I applied it underneath my eyes while looking out the window, pretending to be a normal person. Put it on my chin and on my nose and on my forehead, and then went back to my mirror in my palette while approaching the next station and quickly buffing everything out to get it done, hopefully before we stop at the station and the people standing outside the train waiting to get on don't have to actually watch me and try and figure out what I'm doing. When I was actually stopped in a station, I tried doing it as little as possible because number one, there's always a lot of people right next to you by the window, checking you out, looking at what you're doing. And I didn't want to be that person that everyone's looking at because I cannot deal. And secondly, I kind of wanted to do it while the train was moving. So while the train was stopped, I kind of just got out my powder and everything for the next step, which would be setting my foundation and concealer. I tapped it into the lid of the container and then using this kabuki brush from the body shop I'm swirling it in there and then tapping it on all over my face to set it as much as possible. I don't want it to crease, I don't want it to move around, I don't want it to be shiny. I actually want this to turn out semi-decent so I'm setting it like there is no tomorrow. Now at this point, the train was still pretty darn empty, okay? So when I started out with my eyeshadow, I was like, okay, I have some time, let me play around with it. So first I picked up this nude color and put it underneath my eyes and on my forehead and around my chin because I just wanted some extra coverage over everywhere I applied concealer. And then when it came to the actual eyeshadow, I started getting creative. I first picked up this light brown cool tone transition shade from my Wet n Wild palette and I worked it right into my crease with my fluffy blending brush. But I quickly realized it was going to be way too much effort to pick up the Wet n Wild palette, pick up the color, put the palette down, pick up the palette with a mirror in it, work the eyeshadow, put it down to pick up more color, keep switching between them. So I kind of decided to flip back to my Carly Bible palette instead. So next I picked up this orangey brown color with my fluffy blending brush and used that to blend higher in my crease instead of going back to a similar color in my Wet n Wild palette. Then I decided to go with this light mauve color and apply it on the outer part, on the outer third of my eyelid. I didn't really have anything in mind when I started, I was kind of just winging it, trying to go for the general idea of a smoky crease and a shiny lid, but no specific colors in mind. So as you'll see, I build it up. First I applied light mauve, then I went in with a darker mauve and a more precise brush to add a little bit more dimension. But the train was empty, like I said, it was a little shaky just by the way, so every now and then I'm looking at my phone with a worried expression and that would be because I'm afraid the shaking of the train is going to throw my phone off 
and then I'm gonna keep recording meanwhile my phone is lying on the floor so that's what that face would be or that face is me moving close to a station and people looking at me but in anyways all the hoo-ha I did on my upper lid, I did on my lower lash line and then I picked up this pretty dual shift colour from my Carly Bible palette with my finger and I applied it on my lid because like I said I want that shiny deal going on and this colour is really pretty, it has a pink and gold shift and they're both very light, very spring type of colours it gives me champagne type of vibes so it is definitely one of my favourite eyeshadows but the point I was trying to get to through all this is I thought I had time, I thought I had all the time in the world, all the privacy in the world to do my makeup how I want to. So I was taking my time, I was building up the colours, I was going between things. I wasn't doing this the fastest way possible, I could have done this a lot faster. But no, let's make this fun. And then we came to the next station. And as you will see, there are lots of people outside and pretty much all of them got onto the train. Which means a few of them actually came to sit where I was sitting. So I started regretting my creative freedom by this point because when people were coming in and looking at me, I was pretty much only halfway done where it could have been done if I just really tried doing it quickly. So when people were coming in and I had to pretend to be a normal human being on the train, I was busy putting on highlighter with this lip brush. As usual, I applied it in the inner corners of my eyes and underneath my brows and I'm sure I'm going to apply it on my nose and on my cupid's bow as well because what else is highlighter for? But I was thinking to myself, what these other people are possibly thinking? Because the lady is sitting next to me kind of, as you can see, she's chilling on her phone most of the time, she isn't really checking me out that's fine but the other person the guy that came in went to sit opposite me so he was looking straight at me and at nothing else all the way back so while I was combing out my eyebrows and fidgeting and looking in my bag and trying to find the next thing to work with I was trying to just ignore that he was there and ignore the camera because I didn't want to acknowledge that I was busy filming and being a creep I just wanted to look like I was doing my makeup and that that made me creepy enough so that was a very exciting experience and as you'll see later he decided to talk to me and i was terrified i am not social enough to deal with this i don't know what to say to people or what to say when they ask me what am i doing why am i doing it i don't know why i'm doing this i'm filling in my eyebrows on a train i'm clearly not capable of answering difficult questions like what i am doing just let me be and watch me if you must so I am kind of hiding behind my mirror here, doing my eyebrows, and believe it or not, they turned out quite fine for on a shaky train. I mean, this part was hella shaky, especially here where I was trying to contour my nose. And all things considered, it turned out better than it usually did, which is weird. You would think doing your eyebrows and contour on a shaky train would make the contour worse, but when I looked at it afterwards, there were days where I was sitting down doing my makeup, fully paying attention to my makeup and nothing else, and the contour did not turn out that good. I'm done, <laughs> I told you, he talks to me. It's so weird. Then I just continued to curl my lashes and at this point the lady realized what I was doing so she started just watching me with a smile. But she was really sweet about it, she was quite interested so I didn't notice it at the moment. It would have freaked me out a lot more if I knew she was looking at me too. But I just continued with my mascara while low-key wondering what would happen if it were to shake too much and I were to actually stab it against my eye or heavens forbid in my eye because then I would have to clean everything off. How would I clean it off? I can't go to the bathroom to just wipe it off with water. But if you think mascara was scary, you should try eyeliner. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I swear the train was just working with me at this point. But as you can see, I really quickly finished up that part to make it as little of a risk as possible. I do not recommend you try this at home. For blush, I just picked up a little bit of this pale pink blush by Essence and dusted it on my cheeks. I've been a lot more into lighter blush recently, so this is all I've been doing. And then I just dusted off my brush before blending it in to make sure I don't have any funky lines going on. 
and then for lip liner I'm using this nude lip liner by NYX which was my favorite until I lost it unfortunately so I need to get myself another one but I'm using it to line and color in my lips before adding a touch of this liquid lipstick by NYX to just brighten up the inner part to make it pop a bit more and of course to add dimension because I love dimension and I didn't think it was enough dimension so I added a bit of this pale pink ooh la la lipstick by LA girl as well and then I decided to call it a day and just spray some setting spray all over my face I was not brave enough to try liquid eyeliner on a train <laughs> and then I could finally leave and nobody was looking at me strange because I had a full face of makeup on and I could run away from all the people that were watching me on the train and pretend I'm a normal person using the train. Hi. It's my sister Tixie. She picked me up from the train station and you think my face looks normal? Yeah, I'm the worst person to ask. I don't really see the difference. But it doesn't look like I did it on a train. It looks kind of normal. You think? Yeah, no, it looks normal. I am proud. There are many people that stared at me and many people that talked to me and people that asked what I was doing and aren't you afraid you're gonna stab your eye out? And oh my gosh, I am not social enough for things like this. But I survived and it was actually quite fun. However, I entirely chicken out of eyeliner because I did not really want to stab my eye out and I think eyeliner would have just been a squiggly mess because the train was quite shaky. But altogether, I had fun and I think I'll be doing this again in the car or some other place to see what other places I can do my makeup in. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!